How is milk turned into cheese? Humans have been making cheese since the Egyptian times. That's over 5,000 years ago. And the process that a modern cheesemaker follows hasn't changed very much since then. Milk from local farms arrives at the creamery every morning. The milk has to be fresh to make delicious cheese, so they start the process straight away. First, the milk is poured into big metal baths, called vats, and stirred. Next, they have to sour it by adding a starter culture, which is like yoghurt and contains friendly bacteria. This starts the process of curdling the milk and splitting it into two parts, the solid curds which become the cheese, and the whey, the leftover watery liquid. At this point, the curds are chopped up and they add salt. The salt stops the cheese going off and brings out the flavour. Next, the curds are squished and squeezed into pots. A bit like making sandcastles. After a couple of days, each block of cheese is taken out of the pot and wrapped up in cheesecloth. Cheesecloth is used to protect the cheese. It's a special fabric which allows the cheese to breathe while it ages. Now it's time to wait for the cheese to mature. This can take from a few weeks to anywhere up to two years. The older the cheese, the harder, drier and stronger the flavour. The cheesemakers have to taste the cheese regularly for flavour and quality to check whether it's ready to be packed up and sent to your local shop.